because I would rather just know that I have all of the <laughs> all of the uh, chests in the dungeon open. Anyway, this is dungeon number four, the Arbiter's Grounds. This is that prison that Midna mentioned. Was it Midna or was it our one of them? Um, yeah, where the really bad criminals were sent. This is also where the Mirror of Twilight is. Well, sort of on the other side of this. Place. Okay. Claw shot. Whoa. Okay. Stupid little. I think you can use the claw shot. Well, yep, you can. Oh, no, no, no. Don't. No, 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 no. No, Link, go down the hole. That's not what you're supposed to do. This time with less fail. I hope. Alright, I'll ignore this stupid little... Anyway, these... Torch... Thing on Bobby's. You can latch onto them. And in fact, you have to. Get anywhere around. Right? Fortunately, they give you the compass pretty early in this dungeon. So, that means I won't have to be checking my guide constantly to make sure I've gotten all the chests, you know, because I only need to do that before I have the compass. Okay. That's the thing about these... About, you know, don't want to get too zealous chasing these guys, because they will... Or, because Link will fall into the sand if you do that. These skulls often contain hearts, as I have demonstrated. Yes, and as I also as I have demonstrated, you do not want to fall in those holes. Because then you have to blah, start all over again. Um, as a wolf, you have somewhat lighter feet and won't sink as quickly in quicksand, I believe. You can go a short distance in, in quicksand, as it, but not very far. Ah! Is that a stall child? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's a... Yeah, my friend wanted to be... In, wanted to... She said that she wanted to do guest commentary for a section with, with zombies. So, I really was hoping that she could be around for this one. Oh, okay, I think you used a claw shot for this. Yeah, because if you just tried to... If you tried to walk up to it and pull on it, then you would just sink. Which would make Link sad face. Actually, his facial expression would probably be weird because his mouth would be full of sand. Anyway, I won't think too much about that. Um, okay, so get out your lantern here and dip it for a refill. Do I have an empty? Yes, I do have an empty bottle. Two of them. Might as well. Mind if I do. Yeah, you can get unlimited oil from that thing. Whoops. I'm really pressing the wrong buttons a lot. Okay, so that door is locked, but I believe there's a key right around here, which means there's probably some obstacle. Well, that wasn't much of an obstacle. Yeah, I believe there are only four chests before the come. Oh, okay, the obstacle comes afterwards. These things weigh you down. Yeah, you can get them off by using a spit attack. But if you try to cross the quicksand with too many of them on you, then you will not make it. Where I am, that is. Oh, it's dark in here.
Ah, more stall children. Luckily, you can take him out on mass. Ah, they're poking me. Stop it. It's like the Miniblins in Wind Waker. Dang, dang, dang. Except they don't make that noise. And fortunately, they don't regenerate endlessly either. Jeez, did a bunch of like Ewoks die or something? Evil Ewoks? They're about that size. Well, short help's better than no help at all. Except they're short hurt, not short help. Well, I guess short hurt is better than tall hurt. <laughs> Hey, no, no, you did something good sound. Okay, so... This looks familiar. Especially the part where there are four ghosts. And they steal fires. And, of course, that means that there's somewhere that look where it looked like I could go, but where I will now not be able to go because of the ghost that stole the fires. Yep, it's the forest temple all over again. But instead of fighting the last Poe in the room with the four torches, you fight the first Poe. Okay, so when when it glows, when it glows, uh, that's when you can attack it. Otherwise, it would just go right through. And remember to nom 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 for more damage. Anyway, these guys look different, and they have more health than regular imp pose. But you still get the pose souls, and they count just the same. So, there are four po po souls in here that you literally cannot miss because you have to kill all of these guys. Oh, you also sniffed this po. Now Link can figure out where the other po's are. Only in this dungeon, it doesn't generally tell you where they are. Although that would be very handy. Whoa, okay. What do I have to do here? Wait a minute, did that thing just go down permanently? Oh, there's a target. I was hoping it was within range. And what's in here? Piece of art! That was always nice. Whoa. Okay, I hope there's a target on the other side, too. I don't see one. Just gonna make me sink. Maybe I can get over as a wolf. If I make a run for it. Okay, with combined uh, abilities of human and wolf, you can make it. There's also a chest on this side. Ah, bubble. Okay, two bubbles. Oh, wait! I pressed finish, meaning to do a jump attack, but the finish actually worked! I don't remember the last time I used the ending blow successfully against a bubble. Don't see any targets there. Alright, might as well use these things. I believe this is the map. Yep. 
Yes, indeed it is. Oh, those things don't... Oh, okay, that's why there are no targets, because we don't need them. Alright, so there's some spot here where you can dig. I believe it's this spot right here. Yep. And that reveals a handle thingy. Which down those stairs. Now go down said stairs. More bubbles. Like I've said, you generally don't want to use an ending blow because it usually misses. I hear stuff. Okay, so use this thingy to rotate the room. Okay, maybe I can it the other way. Probably gonna come out. Ah, okay. This is a redead. They do the same undesirable things that they always do. AKA free, well, no, actually they do slightly different undesirable things. They don't hump you in this one. They just slam their massive swords down on your head. Alright, another key. Alright, can I rotate it again? Nope. Yeah, I think you need to rotate it back to get out of the room. I find that re-deads and Stalfos are actually kind of hard to tell apart in this game. When I see a Stalfos, maybe you'll agree with me, or maybe you'll say, you dummy, they look completely different. Or maybe you'll see, Thinker, I respectfully disagree with you, say. Rats like eating the skulls. I didn't think there was much sustenance in those things. Alright, there's a locked door. I have a key, but I'm going to look around first. Oh, wait a minute. Was I supposed to. Maybe I was supposed to rotate the room and then. use the claw shot to get up. In any case, the compass is the next chest I'm supposed to get, according to this map. And I always get wrong. <laughs> Yeah, when it's rotated this way, you can use a claw shot. And what is that? Whoa! This lets you get into this room. And I think there's a bow in here. Remember, you need to kill all the foes here because they hold the, uh... They hold the keys to the, uh... door that you need to open. Hello. Does this bow have any tricks I forget? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, oh, oh. 
Yeah, all you have to do is be quick. Because it'll always be able to... Or you'll always be able to attack it before it can attack you. Where's the compass? I think it's on a higher level. <coughs> Yeah, it's on the level above this. I'm using my guide, I can't tell that just from looking at that map. Alright, we're gonna take the room back to the way it was. Guess right that time. Now you go through the locked door. Oh, you can see the second flame going back to its rightful place. <laughs> 